Mining amazing crystal clusters like this presents a unique challenge to the finder, and that is to present them for sale in a way that captivates the true beauty of them. And that means cleaning. Cleaning crystal clusters is not a simple process. Every time I go hunting for crystals, I find different host rock situations. And what I mean by that is, for this example, we have some decaying granite mixed with smoky quartz veining. But that decaying granite permeates its way all the way through the crystal bed and can often lead to crystals dislodging very easily if you use the brush. And by a completely different token, this is a quartz crystal cluster on a solid quartz bed. The problem with this cluster is not that the crystals will be loose, but we have tiny little gaps that a brush will never permeate. Therefore, I can't get the gunk and dirt out of those little crevices. One of the best tools that I've found to use is a water pick. This is a dental pick you buy from pretty much any pharmacy, and it just shoots a high-powered jet of water out of that spout, normally used to clean your teeth. You see on this unwashed cluster, we've got a lot of dirt in and amongst all the crystals, and that's what we have to remove. And if we use our water pick here, it works quite well, at least for the initial clean. But there is still a lot more dirt that could come off this. That's where this handy doodad comes in, an ultrasonic cleaner. These are the two little clusters I'm going to be cleaning today. I'm not going to use the water pick on either of them. I want to put them straight in the ultrasonic and see what happens. Three, two, one. That didn't take long at all before the water is completely brown, so I'm assuming it's working quite well. A couple minutes later and we're all done. And the other side's looking spectacular. That's wicked. That did a fantastic job. I'm wondering if the water pick would be the ideal thing to use down in here where I, I suspect there's going to be more decayed granite. Oh, well, see, I didn't even see that. That little mini crystal and it didn't even break it off. So that's good indication that it's delicate enough to be able to do something that is quite small like that. And the crystals on the top of it, they have come up beautiful. We'll know more when it dries. Drying these out is definitely the way to go. Before I continue on with the crystals, I want to show you this, this is a 2.4 gram gold nugget that I'm considering selling. So I want to put this in the ultrasonic to see if we can't get a real nice shine to it. Three, two, one. I water picked both the crystals and I've left the gold in there for almost three minutes. You see the crystals have now come up a lot nicer. The water pick just removes all that real hard ingrained stuff. Same goes for this crystal. The water pick removed a lot of surface stuff that I was unable to get off with the ultrasonic. You can see here we don't have any more crumbly bits. All the stuff that's on there is now staining. But the pista de resistance. Here's my little gold nugget. Oh, there is definitely a difference in brightness there. 100%. That is a beautiful piece. Look at that. It's got all of the dirt out of those nooks and crannies. This is just a spectacular little nugget, hey? So there you have it. That's how I've been going about cleaning up my gold and crystals for the last little bit. I'm real happy with the results that I'm getting from these little devices. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next one.